here now with Kazar Hayat, who is actually one of our graduates. He graduated in 2010. Hello, Hayat. Hey, how are you? Thank you very much. I'm good. Um, can you please tell us your experiences at Metro NCC? I know that today uh, the campus is perhaps a little different than it was back uh, when you were studying. I remember when we were here, we were like 30 international students. And after five years, it's now 550 international students. It's way more lively. I'm so happy to be here. To be honest, I don't want to go back. <laughs> but I'm enjoying my experience here. We had like lo lots of fun experiences. And also there was a lot of stress, but good stress. You know, everything worthwhile in life is matched in temporary pain. So we worked hard. So I miss those days as well. Now, can you please tell us a little bit about where you are working at the moment? Well, I work as a power systems engineer at Saudi Aramco. Uh, it's the largest oil producing and most valuable company in the world. So our responsibility mainly is for our department to ensure reliable power supply to Saudi Aramco facilities. So the power system network at Saudi Aramco is massive. Just to illustrate, one of the plants that's under our maintenance responsibility is Upkeek plants. It's the largest plant in the world. It produces around 7 million barrels per day, which is equivalent to many oil producing countries' production combined. So, now, uh, Hayat is an electrics electronical engineer. Uh, how did you find your studies when you were at Metro NCC, and how has graduating from Metro NCC given you that foundation that uh, has enabled you to you pursue with your? master studies that you've done afterwards and also your career? Well, to be honest, the studies were really challenging. Uh, sometimes I was regretting why I was I came to Metu. But I knew at the bottom, from the bottom of my heart that it's going to be worth it. And it was because the technical skills that I learned here, the work ethic that I developed by hard work, and also the engineering fundamentals that I grasped here, they had been at Kaust because it was very competitive, but I performed well because of my background. And as also at Aramco, the management, they really, really appreciate my performance because they could see what Metu had done to me. And what can you say about the faculty here at Metu NCC? How did they help you in developing yourself? One of the things that I found is that the class, class size was very small, so they knew me personally. Even now when I came, I met them. So it's a different level of bond. Even I talk to them, the recommendation letters that I got from them, and also the research projects that I did with them, they really helped me excel in my career and also to develop my technical skills. What did you enjoy most about the campus when you were living on campus? Well, the thing that I enjoyed the most was the social life. I know so many people, and when I'm here now, I don't want to go back. We had so many funny experiences some cultural differences that, you know, the mistakes I made culturally, that make me laugh now. So I had a great experience. The social aspect is what I miss the most. Fantastic. And if you could give any advice to students coming to Metu NCC, what could you say to them? I would say to them that this is going to be your best decision in your life and you're never going to regret it. You're always going to be proud that you studied at such a great university going to open so many doors for you, whether you want to pursue postgraduate education or you want to work in the industry. Metu is going to open so many doors for you. Metu is ranked among the most reputable universities in the world by Times Higher Education. And also so many people know about Metu internationally that you would be surprised. If you could give me three words to describe Metu, what would you say? Three words. Hard work, equal opportunity, and love. Thank you very much, Hayat. Thank you.